Okay guys, hey, how's it going? It's Kenny G here. Uh, well, we're about to watch the launch of the Falcon Heavy. Uh, this is the first official non-like test flight Friday of the Falcon Heavy. So this is super exciting. Hopefully everything goes well, because I really love SpaceX. I think a lot of people love SpaceX. Uh, and Elon Musk and what he's doing uh, for space travel and the potential, like the Falcon Heavy and uh, what's his main ship called? BFR. Uh, he renamed it though, Star Shuttle or something like that. Anyways, it is about to launch so we can save my yammering for another time. I'm super excited. And I figured I might as well record this because this is cool. Super, super cool. We'll go for launch. So there's three rockets, and they're gonna try to land them all back on, on Earth. So uh, it's super, super uh, exciting and ri risky too. Here we go. Everything's gone silent. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. <laughs> Crazy. Seconds into flight, under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure. This is an intense moment here. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. I think they're about to hit max Q. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're okay. through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Woo! Max Q is the time where there's the most pressure on the body of the vehicle. Trajectory looking good. And you can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chilling of the MVAC D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Okay, so max Q is when there is the most pressure on the hull of the vehicle. So as it's ascending, uh, there's a huge amount of pressure on the vehicle. Almost- Continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration Sorry. on the Falcon Heavy structure. I try to Coming let them talk. Booster engine cutoff called Beco and separation of the two side boosters. Okay, here we go. I'll have to explain it okay. later. Go. Oh, there goes both boosters. Successful separation, if you can hear me over the cheering. Side boosters now beginning a flip. The side boosters are here. Look at that. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. You can see the other booster in the camera. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. I don't see the... Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event 
You can see the two in the top the camera. Car, you can see the two cars coming back. Of the second stage. Oh. Oh God, in the way you can't see it anymore. Bottom middle view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. And that's the second stage there in the top. Miko. Main engine Main cut off. Cut off. Center course shut down. Again, over the cheering, MVEC D engine up on power. It looks good. Side boosters looking good, still burning on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Oh, this is intense. Grid fins are out on the center core. Fairing separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. It's a successful launch, but the real interesting also thing. Have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. The, so the real interesting minutes, thing will be if they can the land all three uh, rockets. Stage two, nominal. Stage two looking good with a nominal trajectory. This is intense. And as you guys have noticed, the grid fins have deployed on the side boosters as well as the center core. Those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing. I don't see it on the one on the left. Could just be the camera right angle. As a reminder, today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores, and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn, followed by a landing burn, and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later. Both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way Stage back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core, on the other hand, is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship. Of course, I still love you. If we have a successful landing today, the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission, STP-2. Now, coming up at about T plus six minutes will be the side booster's re-entry burn. That's just in a few seconds. Position of signal Bermuda. So you'll see the side boosters on your left and right screen. They're adjusting. Side booster entry burn has started. And there. Ooh. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the reentry burn is complete for the side boosters. Now, coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its reentry burn. This is where things went a little bad last Falcon Heavy mission. Uh, well, not just yet, but the main one of the engines didn't ignite on the Falcon Heavy, I, if I remember correctly, on the center core. I could be remembering wrong. It was a whole year ago. Uh, look, hey, you want burn has started. Side boosters are transonic. And there you can see the reentry burn for center core has begun. The center cores are looking like they're getting awfully close to Earth. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side boosters landing burn will begin. Oh as well. boy. Look at the top left corner. Top left corner. Come on. <laughs> Is that not the coolest shit? You can hear our crowd going crazy right now. Both side boosters have landed. That is so freaking cool. Zone one and zone two. What an amazing sight to see. <laughs> Thank you.
No, they're not showing stage now one. We're waiting for the engine to shut down on the second stage and for the center core to land. Now, if all goes well, we'll have successfully recovered all three boosters, which we have never done before. Now, coming up in about 20 seconds, we're going to listen for confirmation of Seco 1 or second engine cutoff Church 1. AOS. They're not showing the main booster. I hope that doesn't mean anything. Come back, shut down. Stage one hasn't reached the drone ship yet. Confirmation. Center core now we're just in here, good orbit. Center core is transonic. I'm not sure what transonic means exactly. Double orbit insertion. And we have that confirmed. Good orbit. Now coming up here in about 15 seconds will be the center core landing burn beginning. Intense. So again, as we mentioned earlier, this is going to be a challenging landing. Stage one, landing and we are starting. landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. They're not showing it. They're not showing it. And oh, they are showing it. Looks like we lost the live view. People are cheering. That's so freaking cool. I want to see him. First time we've landed all three boosters. I want to see it. Heavy. What an amazing day. All three boosters so landed. We are going to take a there it is. There it is. There it is. That's so freaking cool. You can hear our crowd going wild. Oh my god. Is that not the coolest shit ever? Three for three boosters today on oh my god. What an amazing accomplishment. That is super cool. So Okay, guys, so it's going to be 16 whole minutes before they do anything else, so I'm not going to record the whole thing of me just sitting here for 16 minutes, but you got the gist of it. Always got to see the really cool part, which was the landing itself, right? They landed all three boosters back on Earth, oh, and you got to see it take off as well. Uh, yeah, super, super cool. I'm not the most knowledgeable on space stuff, but I have a huge interest in it. And uh, I really hope like one day that we can get to Mars because I know that's Elon's long term goal. It's not like going to happen anytime soon, but I really hope we do get there one day. Uh, this is super cool. The fact that they landed all three boosters is super cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it for now. So I'm going to wrap it up. I hope uh, help you guys all have a good afternoon, evening, or whatever else, wherever you are. Take care. Uh, if you're watching this on our Facebook or on our YouTube, please consider hitting follow. Much appreciated. All right, this is Kenny G. 